guys, Galayla here, back with Saturday's video. Today I wanted to talk about um the good place. Now I've recently started watching it again, mainly because I'm a huge, and I mean huge, Crystal Belfield, that's the Veronica Mars, and speaking of which. Getting on that, I finished that. I think probably uh, a day or two ago, and I've recently started watching it again. But the thing that I'm most into recently is I Zombie. It's a great show, and I finished. The first season just tonight. So I'm gonna start watching the second season when I come home from work tomorrow. But the thing is with the show, I absolutely loved, I think his name's Bradley James or James. Bradley, I loved his character in the show. And they killed him off, which I wasn't too happy about. He was a rock star zombie. And it was pretty hot too. I I knew I'd seen him for somewhere before. I just couldn't figure out where. And then I realised he was in um, a show called Merlin. With Anthony Stewart Head. And, um, what was it? Uh, Little Britain and Buffy, surprisingly. But the thing I noticed with Isopy is a lot of the, um, characters from Isopy are in. Like, a lot of the characters that are in Veronica Mars are in iZombie. And you guessed it, my favourite, favourite character from that show, Veronica Mars, that is, Loki Nichols, is in the show. I think that's partly the reason why I'm watching it, I'll admit that. Jason, Jason Dring, oh my god, he's so gorgeous. It's like, oh my god, man. How can you be such a beautiful human being? I think... I would have gotten onto the show a lot earlier, but I, the first time I tried to watch it, I was like, man, this is boring as, you know, bad shit or something. And then I was like, I've got to give the show a second chance. So I was like, gonna do it. And then with I Zombie, I was worried I'd get too squeamish seeing dead bodies because I have a weak stomach. So, you know, I thought this would make me vomit, but surprisingly it didn't. I mean, I guess live turning the food in to take away makes my tummy feel a bit better, but yeah, there's that. One thing I do when I say getting back on another topic of the good place and like Veronica Mars is I want to see more actors from Veronica Mars come out onto the good place. And into Riverdale as well. I think, I think Jason Dering's character, Jason 
during and um, Francis Carpetra or however you say his name. Sorry, honey, I don't mean to offend your name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So I apologise for that. But um, I really want to see mainly those two characters, all those two people, come out to Riverdale. I think if Logan Eccles had been in Buffy or Charmed, and I've pointed this out in a tweet, I think today, I tweeted it today, and I just sort of said, I think if Logan had a start in Buffy or Charmed, I think he would have stirred up shit for um, Spike, Angel and Leo, which would have been fun to see, I will admit would have been fun to see as much as I love Spike and Leo I would have thought it would have been fun to see um Spike and Leo squirm a little bit because I think Jason Deering is a lady stiller I I don't think any woman, including myself, is immune to his charm. I think he's a beautiful, gorgeous human being and he deserves all the beauty and all the love in the world. And normally, this is the thing with me, normally I am dead against the whole friend dating your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend kind of thing. I think that's dead wrong. But I think in certain cases like Logan and... um. Chuck Bass, for example, and maybe even Nate Archibald. I think it's sort of okay, but like I said, I'm not completely condoning it. I think if you do it in the real world, it's, you know, obviously a problem. But if it's in the TV world, it's... Maybe okay, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow night. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Love you.